What you doing? <laughs> I'm waiting on you. What are we about to do? We are about to film some exercise tutorial videos that we haven't filmed yet. We've got like so many, so it's kind of hard to believe that <laughs> there's any more that we <laughs> missed or anything. Yeah. What is the most difficult part about filming these exercises? Probably it always like hurts my back and my shoulders because you're like, this, I'm like this. Thing. Oh, so true. I'm just a baby. <laughs> What's the most fun part about it? <laughs> Getting him over with. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on team? Today we are filming exercises, but because we released two sweet new programs. We got a gymnastic strength program and a speed and agility program, coupled in with some plyometrics for basketball athletes, football players, whatever you want to call it. It's sweet. One of the most valuable things about our fitness programs is that within our app, if there's something that you don't know how to do, which is what we're doing today, we record full video tutorials. That way you know how to do it, just like I was doing in a personal training session. Couldn't be possible without Katie. She's the one behind the camera. We're gonna be kicking off filming this morning. We have got quite a lot to do. I think we already have something like 800 different exercises in the app where you can be taught exactly how to do it, just like in a personal training session. So if you're new to this channel and you wanna check out some of our new training programs, along with all the other stuff that we value, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We put out content all the time and you'll see how you can get sneak peek access to our app as you be a part of our journey. We're gonna get started. Wish you some luck. Let's go. Katie just saved the day because we were about to get started filming and this has happened before. We would go through like an hour and a half worth of stuff and she's like, um, did you turn your mic on? And I was like, uh, no. So let's give a, let's give a high five to Katie down in the comments below because she just saved us a disaster. <laughs> What's happening, T? We are halfway through these videos and I'm getting a little loopy. Ooh. This always happens about halfway through these videos where I just get a little bit of crazy in me and I just get the zoomies like a little dog. Whoa! Stuff filming for the morning. I am heading downtown. We made a good chunk of the new gymnastics program. Got a lot of those videos done. Gonna be filming probably 30 more videos uh, this mid morning. Knocking out, providing more value inside our fitness app. That's all we're trying to do. It's something that I wish that years ago, when I first started following programs online, I would get a workout and I pull up the workout and it would say dragonfly. And I'm like, what the heck is a dragonfly? So then I'd go to YouTube and look up a video and then I'd find out like, oh, I can't even do a dragonfly. So then I'd be stuck having to figure out how to do my own progressions, how to make myself better. And then, so I was like, well, whenever I create something, I'm gonna make it to where not only is there a tutorial of how to do the exercise, but progressions on how to actually do it if you can. So maybe you see a dragonfly like, oh, you can do that. But what if you see like handstand walking and you're like, I can't really do handstand walks, but you wanna be able to do handstand walks. So that's one of the most special things with inside of our fitness app is if there is something that you can't do, you can simply click harder or easier and it'll walk you through all the progressions of how to do it, just like I would do if we were doing personal training. Oh, you mastered this? Try this now. Oh, you mastered that? Try that now. Pretty freaking sweet, but that's why it takes so much filming and so much dedication from both Katie and I. In fact, when we first started, I think like two or three years ago, it was filming three hours a day five days a week, literally for nine months. And we still have exercises that need to be done because of new programs and things like that. But anyway, I just rolled up for my first training session. I'll catch you guys later on. Make it a great day. The difference is, is why I was able to own and win my morning. As I woke up, I had a plan. We executed the plan. And that has led to me feeling progress and moving the needle. See you later, guys. We're vlogging. That's fun. <laughs> Hi. Introduce yourself. I'm Ariana Tigliato, <laughs> friend extraordinaire. <laughs> is this for baby Andres? This is for uh, getting people to know more about K-Square Fitness outside of workouts. Oh. 
Aww. so just kind of like our life. This is our that. mental health moment, yeah, our segment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello again. Uh, okay, so I'm tagging along with Kevin. We are going to up to Franklin. Going with Kevin, he's training somebody, and then we've got a doctor's appointment afterwards for a baby that is inside my belly. You wanted to say the name, didn't you? No, I didn't even think of that. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so that's why I'm going with him because we're going right after and I like it when Kevin comes to all these appointments because he's obviously a part of this too, um, being the dad and all, so. Yo, what's going on guys? I got a couple of mobility drills that you can add into your nighttime routine. I want you to do this here. Put your arm up, spend a minute on one side, stretching and smashing out your, your lat and your shoulder. Once you do that, do both sides and then grab your foam roller. and push your chest down to the floor to get a massive stretch through your lats, through your shoulders. Hey, I mentioned this before, but help us spread the word with Case for Fitness. We're constantly providing value, giving you guys mobility tips, movement tutorials, workouts to try. So share us with a friend, help us get the word out of Case for Fitness, We're trying to bring out the best of you and everybody else around us. So going for a quick little walk to break up the day, trash can on the ground, me in the shadow. What's up? <laughs> busy day today, really, really busy day. Um, been sitting a lot, been driving a lot. So trying to get outside for a quick 15 minutes to get some sunshine. We were recording all the videos in the morning. And as you guys know, with content creation, if we make a video that's, you know, a minute long or 10 minutes long, there's a lot of back end post production stuff. And this is not me by trade. I have had to learn all this stuff. It's been kind of fun, but what I'm getting at is all the filming uh, then turns into all the editing and all the uploading, all that good stuff. But hey, I do this because I care about you guys, because I want to document my journey, because it's cool to see the progress. I mean, heck, I started YouTube probably like 2012. I remember I was putting up exercise videos and I ended up deleting them all because I was so embarrassed of how poor quality they were but it's just that confidence that you get over time nobody cares what it looks like nobody actually cares and yeah i mean there's tons of better editors and other youtubers who do this for real for real i'm just trying to share the journey like i said on vlog number one what it looks like to have a healthy and active lifestyle outside the gym slip in a little bit of fitness on these workouts and uh I was reading over the mindset reading for today and see how this angle looks. Not my bad side, but my shoulder was getting tired. We'll go back over here. The mindset reading for today within the app was talking about executing a plan as I always, as I always say, but what are you doing day in and day out? Do you have something that 
on Mondays, you do on Mondays. On Tuesday, you do on Tuesday. On Wednesday, you do on Wednesday. And that's one thing that helps me with content creation or planning or writing workouts or following up with clients or creating videos is on Wednesdays, I gotta do this. On Thursdays, I gotta do that. So I call it, do your Tuesday on Tuesday. Do your Wednesday on Wednesday. What are you doing today? Each day, you should have your plan mapped out. You know what you're doing and that's how you're gonna execute your day. That's gonna wrap up today's vlog. I'm gonna put the phone away. I'm gonna get plugged in with the family, spend some family time. If you're new to the K-Squared Fitness channel, go ahead and subscribe because we drop fitness tutorials, sweet ab workouts that you can follow along with. Uh, really any type of fitness content that you can imagine, we'll be slipping it to you throughout the calendar year. And if you wanna get even more valuable stuff, down in the description, I'll put a link to where you can get on our email address and I have all kinds of sweet offers in there as well, including our fitness app. So you guys have a great night. I'll catch you later. Peace. Yo, what's going on guys? I got a couple of mobility drills that you can add into your nighttime routine. Once you do this here, put your arm up, spend a minute on one side, Stretching and smashing out your your lat and your shoulder. Once you do that, do both sides, and then grab your foam roller. And push your chest down to the floor to get a massive stretch through your lats, through your shoulders. Really great stretch there. And then I want you to work on some activation techniques. Sit back on your heels, put one elbow down, the other one on your head, and I want you to rotate. Use this hand on the ground to push and rotate. And get as much rotation as you can. Five reps of 10 seconds per side. Really trying to get that massive rotation in your T-spine. That's gonna help out your shoulders. Hope you guys have a great night. I'll see you next time.